Welcome back. Now, just a week after an Indian engineer was shot dead in the United States in what was described as a hate crime, now a video has surfaced on social media showing another instance of a racial attack, but with a different ending. The video shows an African-American man in a New York subway bullying and screaming racial taunts at a young Asian woman. An Indian man steps into the shield of the woman and asks the bully to let her go. An argument ensues, but despite threats of violence from a man obviously bigger than himself, the Indian stands his ground. Later, the African-American bully turns his attention on another Indian, a woman, who too stands her ground and even has the presence of mind to continue filming. All right, I'm now joined by Professor D.I. Pirie Kuku Simons from the University of Northampton in the UK and Bharat Patel, Chairman and CEO of Sun Companies, who joins us from Indianapolis in the US. Also, my senior colleague Surya Gangadharan joins us in the studio. All right, I want to welcome all my guests uh, to this discussion here. I want to first go across to uh, Professor uh, Kuku Simons. Uh, we saw uh, an animated discussion happen in India and ar around the world on the uh, supposedly hate crimes or racial attacks on Indian nationals uh, or immigrants in general in the US. And uh, what do you have to make of this, uh, this, this new development, as it were? I always say that we have to take a global look, look at the global trends. And we're seeing a spate of this kind of extremism everywhere. So it's not that we can blame India, but we have to look very, very closely at what goes on in India at the same time as we look at what goes on in America, for example, or what goes on in the UK, where I'm sitting right now. When I lived there in Delhi, of course, I uh, faced my own everyday racism as I also witnessed Northeasterners in India face their own everyday racism in India. But I come All from right. the United States, and I, and I was accustomed to it, and which allowed me to point it out. It's only that now we have to be very vigilant about having these open discussions. Indeed, and coming to you, Bharat Patel, uh, I've asked this question before, and I'll ask you again. Uh, is there a correlation at all between the hate crimes and racist attacks on immigrants in the U.S. and the installation of a Trump administration in the U.S.? Yes, I think uh, very much so. Uh, what you call is a silent majority that has been silent all this time and few elements out of that silent majority has right. been encouraged to sow the, this underside of uh, the culture here. So basically, you know, you cannot say the whole population at large is like that, but it doesn't take the whole population to attack somebody or kill somebody's loved one. So uh, it has brought out an open people that has been simmering for right. many years. Uh, and we're kind of going backward. If you look at South Africa as an example, right. they went forward and, <laughs> and we're going backward here. So, I mean, it's, it's a concerning. All right, and very quickly, if I can go across to Professor Koko Simons now, if I were to quickly read what you wrote recently, and I'm quoting you here, Racism in India is systematic and independent of the presence of foreigners of any hue. You go on to say yes. it's unfair and ugly. It is, and, and then and I must agree with the comments. Uh, my goodness, uh, I couldn't have said it better. Thank you, the gentleman who just spoke, because there is a silent majority, and what is important for us um, as, as black people who are in India is that we must point out that um, the kind of racism that our presence evokes is not just because we're African or because we are black people. It is because there's already an undercurrent of otherness that is right. tolerated. And it gets generated uh, at different peoples. We just become the, the, the most convenient body for the time. But let's, let's not forget, I hate to bring up the, the be the Westerner to bring up the C word, right. but let's not, think, let's not bring up caste and the different ways that people are differentiated. In Indeed. this way as well. <clears throat> Indeed, uh, uh, Mr. Patel, there we heard the professor uh, hold a mirror, as it were, to India and Indians. Now, uh, if I would ask you, how has the Indian, communi uh, the Indian American community in the U.S. Uh, adjusted to this new normal, as it were? Very quickly, sir. Well, there is a kind of uh, uh, fear that has been installed in people's mind. The other day, the hotel owner uh, a Gujarati was attacked uh, by a person that walked in and said that uh, you Muslims, you guys need to go back and kill your own people. 
and stuff like mm -hmm. that has got manhandled. And, you know, uh, uh, fortunately nothing more happened and got, the guy got nabbed. But I will tell you that uh, there is a there is there is this fear of uh, going to the bars at night right. and uh, walking around and places like that because you know look uh, fifty percent of the hotels right. in U S are owned by a Indian uh, uh, American and and there are uh, at least at least I would say that you know three to four thousand five thousand other professionals in any given city right. uh, that are either doctors engineers or other and it is kind of really uh, fearful. Uh, I will tell you, not only the us that are first generation that uh, directly migrated from India, but our kids are also being right. uh, taunted in school. So it's this is this is something administration really needs to clamp down on these and condemn every behavior All like right. that. And, and, and All right. All right. Fair enough. Uh, law enforcement. Professor Kuku Simons, very quickly, we saw attacks on African Americans under Obama. And we are now seeing attacks on immigrants under Trump. What has changed? It is, and it's really, it's, it's a wonderful stage because what Trump has given us, it's given those, uh, those m migrant professionals, for example, from Asia, who in many ways their profession protected them from typical American racism. Now under Trump, when the cloak has come off, they understand, and more of us understand each other's struggle, that we have to stand in solidarity against, again, this silent majority, which feels threatened by not just the blacks, not just the right. gays, not just the, the Asians, but all of us. All <clears> right. <throat> uh, on that note, I want to thank my guest, Professor D.A. Pirie Kuku Simons from the University of Northampton, and Mr. Bharat Patel joining us from Indianapolis. Also, my colleague Surya Gangadharan here on Gravitas. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of Gravitas. Stay tuned for news and updates here on Beyond.